was 2021. Just wow, I mean. <laughs> and then there was 2022. Uh, it doesn't look good. It needs some attention. It needs cutting down. Just cut it down in the autumn. Cut it right down. Um, you know, we're not going to have horses grazing, so just cut it down and let it grow again, and they'll be back next year, I'm sure. I probably. So what's 2023 going to be all about? Uh, good morning, and uh, welcome to Bedford Perlius uh, for our annual fly orchid trip. Slightly early. Um, I'm hoping to find. I'm hoping to find some. I have no idea what to expect, as you've just seen from those two clips. It could be anything. Um, I'm expecting flower stalks with maybe two or three flowers on, probably no more than that. Um, but there should be something judging on what I've seen on Facebook. So yeah, the task today is to find the impossibly difficult to find fly orchids. Uh, let's go and take on the challenge. As many of you will know, the fly orchid field traditionally here has been over to the right, over there. Um, Last year I found a few growing to the left, which was quite exciting. In fact, I think anywhere to the left here there could be fly orchid lurking. Um, I have not checked the whole site out, but uh, towards the bottom end on the left hand side here, there are some fly orchids, or there were last year. So uh, my search is going to start there. As ever with fly orchids, if you're not used to looking for fly orchid in this particular area, you've got to tread carefully, really carefully, because they're tough to see even if you're within inches of them and very easy to trample on. Always difficult just to get into these, even if there are dozens around. Uh, I don't think there will be, but even if there was, just seeing the first one is always the uh, the tough part. And there is a fly orchid, just as I was talking to you. Two, three, four. Four in flower, another one about to be in flower, and about four more buds to open. That's pretty good. The flowers on these open from the bottom up to the top, so you tend to get plants like this where at the bottom they are going over if they haven't actually fully gone over, and at the top they haven't even opened yet. So you tend to I mean, you don't tend to find many fly orchids where all the flowers are out and looking good. You get a sort of mixed bag. That's good to see. Let's see if there's any more around here now. I'll stay down and have a look. Okay, well, this was literally about three foot, a metre if you prefer, uh, behind the other one. As I've said before, if ever you find a fly orchid, just get down, stay down, don't move, and just look around, because you'll often find more once you get down to that level, and you find them all growing in a similar patch. So this is a second one, and a small one, 50% gone over this one. I said before, once you find one of these, I don't know what it is, but your eyes just seem to switch on to, or mine do anyway, uh, into a fly orchid spotting mode, where you suddenly see things that a few moments ago you couldn't see, and sure enough I can see another one now.
That's a nice one. There's about five flowers open on that one and about another four to come. But you'll find the ones at the top will open pretty much when the ones at the bottom have closed. So this is probably about as good as you're going to get. So that's three in this uh, relatively newly discovered patch. I'm going to stay down. I'm sure there'll be more around here. You always sense that all around your feet. So you do have to tread and move slowly and carefully with these. Um, I always sense they're looking at me from point blank and I can't see them. There you go. There's one down here. Quite a youthful looking fly orchid. Quite slender. Probably a first season plant or first season of flowering. I can see another one about two or three foot to the left. So just bear with me. Another youngster. Well, that was good. As I say, I found about two or three there uh, last season. I found six today, and I always work on the basis that with fly orchids, for every one you see, there's probably at least one that you didn't. So there could be a dozen plus in there, and I only check the bottom of that um, left hand side of the field. Um, there could be some elsewhere. I have wandered through the, uh, the rest of it before very quickly and never saw any, so it may just be down the bottom there, which is kind of in line with the main field, which I'm heading up to now, but that's good to see. They seem to be expanding there and uh, that's just broadening the fly orchid field. Um, just gonna have a quick look on them. I'm, I'm feeling lucky this morning, so there's another patch to the right of me here on the way back up to the main field that I've never looked in before. Uh, so why not? Let's see if there's anything lurking in this one. I mean, it's, it looks the same sort of terrain. Why wouldn't they grow in here? Um, but they are patchy creatures. They like what they like. They seemingly don't want to go elsewhere, but uh, surely there's got to be one or two in here somewhere. Uh, not seeing any uh, in this patch. Certainly worth checking out in uh, seasons to come. There's no reason why they won't move on. But no, I can't see anything this morning. Right, let's move over to the main site now. I mean, they used to grow on the edges here of the path. That used to, my first encounters with fly orchids here were exactly where I am now along the edge of the main path um, and in the good season they were certainly down here as well in numbers I don't see any at the moment there you go landed on one already promising Again, just staying low and staying down, looking around me, I can see fly orchids everywhere. Absolutely everywhere.
I kid you not, I am surrounded by fly orchids. There's a grass here. Uh, there really are a lot of them here again, which is great news. I'm almost starting to get greedy now. I think is there is there any chance of finding something uh, a bit special? I would absolutely die to see a green um, fly orchid. You never know. A nice sort of ready coloured version there, very fresh. That's a, an impressive bunch of about three stems, looking good. It's a big one, I think it's about seven flowers on this one. Most of the orchids, most of the fly orchids have been in that top half of the field beyond that sort of barren patch in the foreground left. Uh, it's been the top half where they've been uh, densest. I've walked into the bottom half and not seen many. In 2021, there were probably quite a few down bottom, probably a match for what was at top. It was more evenly spread. Um, but having said that, I am now down in the bottom half and uh, a few of them are turning up. This is the funny thing about fly orchids. I stood here to do that little piece to say they're all in the top half and not down the bottom, except I've just bumped into some and, and I've literally not moved. I've just turned around to shoot an orchid. I knew it was right behind me and I can't see it. Uh, and that is just typical of fly orchids. You can be right on top of them and you lose sight. I'm going to drop down, follow my own advice. If I get down lower, I might see it again. It's badness. I know it's here. I know it's here. Uh, and I can't see it. Can you see it? There it is. I'm slightly off here. My radar's gone. <clears throat> there you go. There she is. And then practicing what I preach, which is unusual for me, and staying down. There is another one nearby, not much to see, just to prove the point. There you go. I'm pretty much at the bottom of the field now and they're still popping up uh, so they do exist down here this is quite a nice one a few a little bit more thinly spread in the bottom half of the field but they're here good stuff another nice one at the very bottom of the field
and just to prove they are here if you stay low there's another one and there's another one laboring in the grass that's three in the space of about a square metre. I'm sure there's more. Well, there you go. Bedford Perlius fly orchid colony is back. Uh, I did say last year they needed to cut that grass down. I did write to them. Uh, it took a while to get a response, but they did respond in fairness to them and in credit to them. And they said they'd mow it down. They did mow it down because I came through here in the winter on a walk and it was flat. It had been scalped. So I was a bit worried this year that maybe it wouldn't make any difference, but you've just seen for yourself, it has made a difference. A lot of rather fresh looking plants as well as though they're new, uh, maybe first season flowering, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I would say it's probably pretty much as close as it was at its best in 2021. We're just a week or two earlier than we were then, but I would say they're close to their peak. You know, as I said earlier, you're not gonna get fly orchids flowering from bottom to top of the stem. In, in you know simultaneously they start at the bottom and work up so they always look partly gone over partly not open yet but yeah get down here because i think today onwards for about seven days it's probably going to be about the peak period and uh, yeah great to see remember what i said walk carefully i did see a couple that have been trampled you really have to look every step you take where am i going to put my foot down because they are tough to see and again, if you see one, get down, stay down, just spin around and look without moving around too much and you'll just see others that you won't see if you stand up. Um, I saw about 50 today, uh, easily saw about 50 today. And I would say on my principle of everyone you see, you miss, there's probably 100 there again. Uh, so fantastic to see, really, really good. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you again, no doubt, quite shortly.